Hello and good day. Welcome to today's devotional using the daily fountain of Church of Nigeria. Let us pray. Almighty God, the King of glory, we pray that as we have this devotion this day, let the entrance of your word give us light. Help us to understand as we meditate on this passage today what it takes to be overshadowed by the power from on high. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. For today's reading, which is 24th of December 2017, we will have a reading from the book of Luke. Luke Gospel, chapter 1, reading from verse 26 to 38. Luke chapter 1, 26 to 38. And I'm reading from the New International Version. In the six months of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent Angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledge to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at, this, at his word and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel of the Lord said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked. The angel said, I am. I repeat that. How will this be? Mary asked. The angel, since I am a virgin, the angel answered, the Lord, the Holy Spirit, will come upon you and the Spirit of the Most High will overshadow you. So the one, the Holy One will be born, will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relation, is going to have a child in her old age. And she, who was said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month. For no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant. Mary answered, May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angels left her. My brothers and sisters in the Lord, from the passage we've read this, mon this morning unto you, we are going to look at this very important topic as we meditate over that very passage. The power of the Most High that overshadowed Mary the Virgin. The power of the Most High that overshadowed Mary the Virgin. When we are talking about the power from on high, we really need to look at this passage closely and then we can get what this passage contains. We are made to understand that when Jesus was to be born into this world, God sent Angel Gabriel to Mary, a virgin that had never known a man, and informed her of a great mission and assignment she was to carry out. And God, through the power of, the, of Angel Gabriel, informed Mary that she is going to be conceived and she will bear a son. And the name of the child shall be called Jesus. 
And Mary was surprised. Mary wondered, how can this be? And he asked the angel, how can this be? When I'm just a virgin and I've known no man. And the angel replied to her in verse 36, verse 35 I mean. The angel answered, the Holy One will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So we are talking about this power that overshadows. This power is the power of God. When it overshadowed Mary, God bring, brought to pass that which he said. He brought to fulfillment what he said about Mary. Without meeting any man, Mary became con conceived and she gave birth to Jesus. And this is to the surprise of anybody who is not a believer. Up to today, those who are not Christians are still doubting what this might be. But we want to assure you as we celebrate this in this season of Christmas, especially a day to the day, we are going to remember when Jesus came into this world. That there is the power of God that overshadowed Mary, that brought about the birth of Jesus into this world. And that same power is available today. The same work he did, did upon Mary is about to do it upon as many that believe. As many that hold onto the truth of the gospel. So let us look at this power. What this power will do when it comes upon you, when it comes upon anybody. As the power is upon me, what I've been doing in my life. So let's take the first one. It will attract unmerited favor and grace upon you, upon anyone that believes. I say it will attract unmerited favor upon anyone that believes. Unmerited favor and grace. What do you mean by unmerited favor and grace? There were so many persons like Mary in this time. But God it had mean to choose her. Therefore, in your generation, there could be so many persons who are also suffering either as you are suffering, who are also wondering what you are wondering, wondering about in this world, the difficulties you are passing through. But I tell you, when you allow God to come into your life, when you put yourself like Mary put herself, a humble girl of his generation, of her generation, and she believed God and lived a holy life, the power came upon her and brought about what by all standard, if they were to give to people in Israel, they wouldn't give it to her by human standard. But God gave it to her. So this power can bring what you don't merit at all upon you. It may be job. It may be that people have said you can't give birth. All condition around is that you cannot give birth to a child. Or you cannot make any woman, your wife, pregnant. But when you believe in Jesus, when you have this God as your God, when that power comes upon you, that power will correct whatever is in your system. That power will correct whatever it is wrong within your body. Whatever is wrong within your family. And favor that is supposed not to get to you will get to you. Favor that is supposed not to get to your children will get to your children. If you believe that, say amen this morning. My brethren, number two, difficult things will be made easy. Naturally in this world, things, there are so many difficult things. In the academic world, there are so many that find it difficult to pass their exam. Difficult to read. Difficult to sit down. But I tell you, if you believe in God, by the time God will bless you like he blessed Mary, those things in academic that is difficult for you, God will make it easy. In your business, the same thing. Those things that have been so difficult in your business, either your partners or those who support you or people have duped you in the past or made things so difficult with you, when you trust God and commit that into the hands of God, God is going to open that door to make difficult things easy. Yes, it would have been very difficult for Mary to give to birth. But when this anointing, this power came upon her, she was able to do the things that naturally she cannot do. Whatever it is difficult to, for you naturally, God, this God can supernaturally solve it for you. So don't get worried, my brother. Don't get worried, my sister. Just trust in this God and he is able to do that. The power of God is within you. As you worship God this morning, 
as you follow us in this devotion, as you trust in this period of Christmas, that same anointing of Mary will come upon you and your life and condition shall never remain the same again. We are talking of what happened when this power come upon you. When this power come upon you, good things will come across you. Yes, the angel Gabriel told Mary, I bring you good tidings. In this period of Christmas, good tidings is coming to you that the Savior is born. That the Savior is born, the one to liberate mankind. If you accept him into your life and have him as your Lord and Savior, committing all your ways unto him, good things will begin to come across you because it comes with good news. One of these key good news that will come is that salvation will come to your door and your life will be transformed. All things will pass away and everything will become new. Yes, you are taught about how you've been thinking of what to eat, how to survive, how to deal with your enemies, how to survive in their presence. The power of God upon your life, like it was on Mary, that it was on, like it was on Mary, as it come upon you, we set those things right. And I trust today that as you listen to the word of God this morning, that same power will make good things come across you. And it's our prayer that good things should come across you and your family. Good things should come across you and your wife. Good things could come across you and your children. Good things could come across your family. When you go to your place of work, may good things come across you. When you go to your own shade or your, your, your own very shop, may good things come across you. When you step out to transact any business, may good things come across you. It's a prayer today that as you look unto this Jesus, whom we are remembering in this season of Christmas, upon whom the power of God came on Mary. Yes, this anointing will make the difference. Listen, as you're about to conclude, my brethren, you've got to understand that if you don't subject yourself to the power of God, these things, you will miss it. These things, you will miss it. It is not enough to go to church without having the knowledge of Jesus as your Lord and Savior, without living the righteous life. You can spend time fasting, in fasting and prayers, asking God to do something. But there is one thing you must understand, that when you obey God, and you give your life to Jesus, and you do that which he wants you to, which he wants you to do, as you do so, he is going to transform you and make you what you are supposed to be. And that is what will happen to you. May that same God bring that anointing unto you this day, that your life be transformed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Can we pray? Almighty and everlasting Father, we thank you for what you've done this day by speaking to us in this meditation concerning our private lives, that this power will come upon us and things around us will change. We are trusting that you who has spoken to us this morning, you will allow this power to come upon us, come upon families, come upon people. And I decree may it come upon you over there as you listen to the sound of my voice. Let that power come upon you and may your condition never remain the same again. In the name of God the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join us same time, same session tomorrow for another episode of this devotion. If you are led to sponsor this program, please contact the number below.